Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Celebrity Drag Race featuring All Right Hey! <laughs> Do you get like, All Right Hey? All the time. Oh my god, I'm so excited! So are we, are we still filming? No, yeah. we're not. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Roxy Horror. And I'm Eloora. And I'm All Right Hey! And you're watching Word Vomit! <laughs> Amazon, all right, hey. I hate when people say, what do you do with yourself? Because I'm like, nothing. <laughs> Started on YouTube, I'm a social media influenza. I'm Catch My Disease, follow me on Instagram, I'm all right, hey. So today I thought, let's do a little collab. First collab video. It is, it is Word Vomit's first, first collaboration. Yeah, very first yeah. collaboration. We've just filmed a video to go up on my Facebook page and my Instagram, so make sure you check that out. I am such a big fan of RuPaul's Drag Race. Have you seen season 12? Oh, I've never watched an episode. Like, I just love the concept. No, I know you, you're from RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, the Vivian. Oh, oh my God, Trixie, Katya, I love you. All right, hey. <laughs> because I have no idea what we're doing today. It looks very scary. We've got a lot of makeup in front of me, so please take me through what's happening. All right, so today we're going to be continuing on a trend and it's called a makeup battle. Mm -hmm. So they get two makeup artists, in this case, drag queens, and then we will make- I was say, you call yourself artist. <laughs> Debatable. Debatable. <laughs> so they get two makeup artists and they will paint each side of the face in their own style. Right, okay, cool. So you're gonna paint this side, you're gonna paint this side, unless you yeah. wanna swap. No, I think now. This side. You wanna swap? No? No. Do you want to do it? Really good. Okay, good. Well, then we should swap then, because I don't want <laughs> You're gonna look tragic by the end of this. I think from like this side, you might look great. From this side, debatable. From this side, terrible. Okay. So that's my prediction. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna block your eyebrow. We'll see you guys in like two seconds. Oh my God, it's been like two seconds. All right, it's called beating your face for a reason. So I'm sorry this hurts. <laughs> now we know you dipped into drag a little bit. Mm -hmm. Tell the viewers out there, what name did you decide on? So we went with Viper, Viper Bites. I chose that name because Vipers are Quite striking, yet mm. the laziest snakes of all. I am a very lazy snake. This is gonna be like Viper the bootleg version. <laughs> She'll look better. I feel That's okay. so unsafe. I feel like you've just transformed into a new woman. This is actually quite therapeutic. It like, is. Good. I'm actually meant to be in Fiji today, so I'm just going to pretend this is a facial. <gighs> I forgot how much darker Ella's contour is than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I got new professional dance training. <laughs> I know how to death drop, but I hurt myself every time. It's like a snow secret death yeah. drop. <laughs> <When you're laughs> like she drops, but she almost dies. <laughs> And also her shoes now at Universal and she was performing it up. Yeah. There's this one you do and it's like a, it's like a whip and you're like, bring it back. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four, and five. Yeah! But like, I do a lot of taps. I think I get the taps from Carmen Get It. At least you didn't get the points from uh, Michelle Mayhew. She comes out, she's like, I don't have insurance, so don't <laughs> So I'm just gonna like, not talk about the makeup steps that I'm doing. So before this vid, Roxy was like, okay, we won't talk about the makeup steps, we'll talk about like, things. Like, we'll talk about Stop. topics. And each time she keeps going, so now I'm doing this! Thanks, <laughs> look where everyone. Not at you. <laughs> um, so do you have a favorite movie? Probably The Wizard of Oz. Um, do you like horror movies? Do I like horror movies? What's her fucking last name? I was <laughs> joking, I fell for it. All right, so would Viper ever apply for Drag Race if it came to Australia? Obviously I would love to go on. I started sort of dabbling in drag a little bit and I've always just been known as a Glamazon, but I sort of built my brand on being a boy in makeup, not a drag queen. Okay. So when I started becoming more of a drag queen on my 
Instagram, although I love it, I noticed that people were sort of engaging less in my content because it was so far off from yeah. what they were used to. So far off what they signed up for. Yeah, because they signed up for comedy videos and, you know, short little skits and whatnot. And now suddenly I'm a drag queen doing drag makeup and showing them performances of me. Yeah. Although I was really excited about it, it was more of like a branding thing because it's not just because it's drag. There are so many things. If I make like videos about me singing and everything and then suddenly I take turn to gaming, well, people are going to hate that. If you're a yeah. gamer and then suddenly you're like, oh, I want to do makeup videos now. Like It's essentially like if James Charles were to come out and do drag now as his full Jamie Charles, whatever. Okay. Jamie Charles! I'm so used to being very PC on my social media yeah. and like yeah. my comedy can push boundaries but not too many and then you know you see Drag Race and it, it can be very political. I know it's a whole new audience but my audience like doesn't see that side of me because I've had to kind of cut it down because you can get cancelled for anything these Yeah, yeah cancel so, culture is a thing. Yeah and I so know. I will say though if they approach me to be a glamorous guest judge I would go on and switch the floors for them if it meant I could be just watching from yeah. ah, I just want to see the runway like in real life it's also like do I go on as fire part or do I go on as all right hey all right. Oh, just pull it you just rubbed off yeah, half so my like fucking brow who's more gentle in your face me or her you with brushes interesting but her with the beauty blender. Ah, okay. The other thing is, personally, like drag's just a little bit of fun for me. I just yeah. like doing it occasionally. And there are so many talented full-time queens, not even full-time queens. There are some talented queens that don't do it full-time that I would much rather see get on that show and give them a platform yeah. as opposed to me. Would love to be a guest judge. Would yeah. love to be a guest judge. I'm evil. Ah, you should see all my secret pages. Oh, Ella, your pattern is so white. This happens when you shot the cry a lot and not came up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she is such a shady oh. bitch. Oh. So, can you actually tell me about Wollongong drag and get the gay scene? Because I've I actually have never been to Wollongong. Period. Yeah. Like I've never been to Wollongong. So educate me, please. Let's go back to the beginning. A very good place to start. Castro. So, no, it was before Castro. We're before. talking Checkers Bay. Oh shit. There was a nightclub, underground nightclub in Wollongong called Checkers. Then there were a few drag queens there. Fast forward, that scene kind of fell out and they all got actual jobs. <laughs> <laughs> then there was a whole other scene in Queens about seven years ago. They have a YouTube channel. Her name is um, Victoria Vogue. YouTube Victoria Vogue. She um, talked about the Wollongong scene before we were even there. That was crazy to see because we didn't know that existed. Now the Wollongong scene has been going for about three years up and running again. It's nothing like Sydney. It's nothing like Sydney. <laughs> we get, you know, weekly or monthly. Yeah. Events. So that's why girls are like, know your worth in drag, know how much you're worth, know this, know that. But Wollongong is a different place to Sydney. The need's there, the want's there, but it's not as vast as what it is in the city. People ain't got money in Wollongong. <laughs> Although I do know a queen that does have a weekly gig. It's like the same, but different. Right. No, it's not. It's different. Have you ever seen a drag queen look this good? Yeah, I, ha I haven't, but because I've never seen a drag queen with this much chest hair. Ah! The status of celebrity that we were chasing as a kid is not really obtainable the same way it was when we were a kid. And I'm not like clutching it. Like I'm not like I'm trying Curls. to say I'm clutching it. Curls. Curls. Do you, do you, scare curls? you mentioned before that you were from the Central Coast. Yeah. Which I already knew and I didn't have to stalk you to find out because right. I was on an app called Melon. It's kind of like chat roulette, but it's a phone app. And I connected with four random stoners from the Central Coast. And they were like, oh, you're gay. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, oh, you know, all right. Hey, he moved to Sydney. He used to be from here. He's, he's doing all right for himself, hey. <laughs> I'm Melon. I'm random. I'm I'm random. Random. Oh a random person. God, that that is so <laughs> funny. I yeah. wish I knew who that was. Yes. Yes. Like, so oh, it did happen to us the other day. Because I when? met up with somebody that I knew who went for a grinder hookup. Like when he told the guy from the hookup, oh, like double or dry or whatever. And then the guy at the hookup was like, oh, do you know Ella and Roxy? It's all right, hey, on your Instagram story with a swipe up to the... Because people are much more... Ah, swipe up. More... Oh. Ah, she <laughs> thinks One I've got day. 10k! Ah. Are, you, are you done? Pretty much. What are you doing now? I am defining that crease. Mole under your lip. All right. You got something there? Do you want me to get it off for you? <laughs> I had a brand new we don't want to do lash glue. What are you doing right now? Putting lash glue on my eye? Yeah, I don't put it on lash lines. Sorry. Really? This lash is sticking to my finger and not your eye. That's because she's a shit makeup artist. I thought you were done. I thought you were finished, Ella. No, that's okay. Just some finishing touches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
We're just doing some finishing touches. Oh, I fucking hate you. Wow, wow. The new look queen that I down. Alright, so we're just gonna install this beautiful wig style by Miss Charlemagne. Charlemagne blanket. <laughs> This is my two minute quick drag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at little bit Liza Minnelli from the neck down. Liza with a Z. Hello, <laughs> Welcome back to Celebrity Drag Race featuring Brad <laughs> <Ryan> Kate. <laughs> <laughs> alright, hey, alright, 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 alright. Okay, now ladies. Yeah. You're painted. Thank you. You're finished. I, I, I need to hurry up and see this, please. <laughs> <She's fine. laughs> oh my god, here we go. Oh, three, two, one. <gasps> no, I fucking love it. Oh! I think it's the hair that really pulls it together. I think Charlemagne. <laughs> Fuck, I'm, I'm shook. The, She's the gay. oatmeal brow though. <laughs> Um, like this is very sherry pie, but I don't hate it. And this is so soft, but I don't hate it. Whereas I would usually paint right in the middle of probably these two as well. Okay, so, so you've got like oh. I'm not too harsh, but I'm not too soft. Oh my god, this is amazing. Alright, Roxanne, what time of the week is it? Oh my god, it's the Instagram top five of the week! Ah, ah, ah. I think your balls just dropped. Ah. This week we have some really, really cool people on our list. And up first we have an amazing artist, Nordacious! I stumbled across Nordacious years ago. I've been following him for a long time. Actually, Cakes by Chopper mentioned in our last video put me onto Nordacious. The artwork that he has done, he uses the stipple dot process. He just did Frank and Furter, and I'm obsessed with the Rocky Horror Picture Show, so that is why I have chosen to use Frank and finally put Nordacious in our top five of the week. Is he from Australia? Is he Australian? Is it Australian? Oh, so now I understand all the Australian icons that she has drawn. Yeah. She, he? Is it a boy? It is a boy. It's a man! And he's, he's gorgeous, gorgeous too. Oh. You can draw a picture of Roxy with the stipple dots, and you can put your in my <laughs> <laughs> You're an amazing artist. You're brilliant. I love everything you do. Can I just say, just quickly, I just understood that Roxy Horror is oh Rocky Horror. Oh my god. I bless just, your soul. Oh my god. Until you just mentioned it, it clicked. I'm sure if you look at that footage too, you might You'll see, see the, clip. the moment that it clicks. And I'm obsessed with the Rocky Horror picture show. So that is why I can't just And I think my face just drops because I went, Oh my god, I just saw it as two different, like, Roxy horror. And now I'm yeah. like, Rocky horror. <laughs> yeah. And what does Illawarra mean? Just Illawarra? Yeah, with an E. Yeah, right. <laughs> Illawarra with an E. Yeah. I am a whole region. Dap dough, go on, you dap dough. Oh, you can dap dough. I went to dap dough once. End of story. Our next top five of the week is. Milan! And not the crappy drag queen that was on RuPaul's Drag Race. This Milan is a really good makeup artist that I discovered a couple of years ago. I started following him when he only had 700 followers. So you started following him when you tried to do makeup and didn't make it. <laughs> Painted by Jane. <laughs> But Milan, he was actually very successful and now he's killing it. Like, look at it. That makeup with the that heart around your face is, yeah. um, is kind of everything. But Milan, your looks are amazing and keep doing what you're doing because you're inspiring me every single day. Milan, I love you. Milan, Paris, New York, London. London, Paris, Milan. Milan, Milan, Milan. London, Paris, New York, Disco. <laughs> Queen of the North, go on, thing, just say. I still got time to run. comes all the way from Toronto, Canada, and it's Eva King! Oh. Now the reason that you came onto our little radar, bitch, is because you look exactly like Raven. Yeah. Now that's not a read. You were trying to be Raven for this, but you look exactly like her! That's all I have to say. I'm done. <laughs> Bye. I would suit this. Um, I think it's a shoe. <laughs> yes! You gotta shoot from one and only, alright, hey. 
I think I appreciate in this that this person knows how to do makeup and knows proportions well enough to be able to copy somebody with the skills that Raven has face. I love Raven, I love her makeup, I've yeah. always looked up to her aesthetic in drag. Yeah. But when you put these two side by side, she gives Raven a fucking run for her money. Yeah. Like, she, you're really, really good and be proud of yourself. Yeah. And to fit in the ongoing theme of this channel and me mentioning the first time I did drag, I actually took a picture of Raven to that makeup artist and I said, I want this. But then I got that. So hold up, <laughs> you got this face and you asked for this face. Yes. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's not that bad actually. It's, it's horrible. Oh, oh my fucking God. Yeah, it's that's like Mariah fucking Carey. <gasps> that's so funny because this was a Mardi Gras look and I walked down the street and everyone's like, are you doing a Mariah Carey look? Absolutely. Do you want to do it? This is a cute thumbnail. Come in. Why is it the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> Our next top post of the week is Bailey Syrian. I got introduced to Bailey from you. Oh, me? Yes. Stop it! Stop so, it! Roxy likes to just sit there, do her makeup, and listen to YouTube videos. I always do my makeup way faster, and then I have to sit there and watch the YouTube videos that I play. So this is how I came across Bailey. Bailey does a thing called Murder Mystery Mondays. Kind no, of like it's called Murder Mystery and Makeup Mondays. She would know. There she does her makeup, getting ready for the day, and she also tells you about a murder that's happened, or like a serial killer, or stuff like that. This morning she did Jeffrey Dahmer. That's an old episode, but this morning you watched This that morning one. <laughs> I watched the one about Jeffrey Dahmer, the most famous gay man in the world. Um, All the wrong reasons. RuPaul's like, what do you do? Let me see. <laughs> Bailey Serian is fantastic with the way she engages her audience. It's not a tutorial, she just does her makeup from start to finish and talks about a true crime or a true mystery or something like that. But you are so engaged the whole time. Oh, it's like said. Therapeutic, the way that she talks, she has this voice that's just like engages you and pulls you into the television. Oh my god, Bailey Serian, I don't know how you do it, but you're always so pretty and you can talk and do makeup at the same time and I'm jealous! I can do my mascara while I talk and yeah. people are like, how are you doing that? I didn't realize I it was going to be hard. Bailey, thank you so much. We really look forward to Mondays for our murder mystery and makeup Mondays. Oh. Okay, guys, it's time for our top post of the week. Now, this person has been wanting to be in the top five for a very, 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 very long time. She has slid into my DMs many, 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 many times. This person, she's been in drags to riches up in Sydney. She's always out on Oxford Street. She's always doing her thing, doing her glam. She's always causing mayhem wherever she goes. Yes. So our top post of the week is... here and make anyone else number one, darling. Oh, I'm the top host of the week, darling. I'm the top host, as Destiny's Child would say. Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> so, I discovered Aura right, Hey not long ago. Don't act like you're not a fan, love. I don't, don't want to act like I'm a stan, but I've known this bitch for a while now. It's only recently that we've been talking and we organised this. As our top post of the week and our very first collab, I would like to say thank you for being on our channel. That's and I, right, Charlie. Thanks for having me. So Stop cutting go. people off. Sorry. I'm just making sure it's safe to talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you for having me. It's been so fun. And I haven't done a collab video in so long, so I'm excited to have a video going up on my Facebook and Instagram. So check that out. I've heard my face would be really good for drag. So don't forget to follow All Right Hey on everything. What are your socials? Instagram, all right, hey. Twitter, all right, hey. Facebook, all right, hey. TikTok, all right, hey. And I do have a YouTube channel, it's all right, hey. All right. I also want to make note as well. Thank you for being somebody that has a platform and collabing with somebody, like two you, people like us that are only really just starting out as well. I never thought I would collab with people from Wollongong, but here I am. <laughs> <laughs> and I have brought you a present as well. Oh. Close your eyes, close your eyes. All right, hey, all right, all right, all right hey, all right. So there's another thing that Michelle Mayhem has wanted for so long, but she's not going to get. But okay. I have bought you a lovely bottle of Ella Warrior's Queen of the South <gasps> Coast Moscato. Oh, so exciting! Yeah. Yeah. Didn't have to win Slay Alive for that one, see? No, thanks. Well, I could have afforded it anyway. <laughs> People can get that by sliding into my DMs. Oh, fabulous. On it's Instagram. Good. I'm literally gonna crack this tonight. I'm so excited. I've heard good things. Carmen and Charisma both said nice things for once in their life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go and fuck yourself. And if you want to stick around, make sure you hit that red subscribe button up in the corner.
Oh my god, it's the end of the day, everybody. I have had so much fun with you both today. Thank you so much for coming to my humble abode. Uh, but no, thank you so much for having us. We really have had a blast today. You're supposed to say, that's okay. <laughs> One continuous thank you so much. This is the final wrap up one. Are you, are you signing it? Are you saying oh, okay, 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 okay. And oh, I forgot what I was saying. And you are watching Word Bomb. Alright. Okay. Oh my god, I had. Alright, okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Oh my god, I had so much fun today. Thank you so much for coming along. I'm Roxy Horror. I'm Ella Horror. And I'm Alright Hey. And we'll see you next Wednesday for Wednesday Word Vomit. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, I'm so excited to see what it looks like. Wow, you look stunning! Oh, she's beautiful. Karen.